Hi, welcome. This tutorial is about installing Budgie Desktop. We want to install Budgie Desktop on Antergos. And um, I just wanted to start here because of this little line. The only thing we have to do is type sudo pacman s Budgie Desktop or eventually the git if we want to. Uh, and this is why I'm coming here. It's recommended also to install the GNOME group. You can even install also the GNOME Extra group, which is even more programs from GNOME. But it's not only recommended, it's almost necessary. Meaning, Budgie Desktop is just a desktop. But if you want to have sounds and Bluetooth and a printer and all that, you'll need to the GNOME settings, the GNOME uh, manager to change all that. So that's not, it's almost necessary. So. I was thinking, why not uh, make a copy-paste from my clone, Antarctos Gnome. I copy-pasted it and we're going to install uh, and save some time on this Antarctos Gnome. So you follow the tutorial about how to install Gnome on Antarctos. You install everything you need to install, meaning all the software and installation of the themes and the icons. And then you'll go and install Budgie. <coughs> okay, full screen mode. Let's get rid of that. Okay, nice. So the wallpapers are being provided with uh, by Variety. Variety is down here, not up here. And let's go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois and see what we have here. There are more budgies than we know, of course. The budgie can be installed on many things. Ars budgie, Ubuntu budgie, our budgie and i3, and Tegos budgie. Let's get the scripts, but you saw what you had to do. It's just a matter of typing in budgie desktop, open in terminal, git clone, paste, and now all the scripts from Antergos Budgie are here. Installation script. And the most important one, let's take a look for it. Maybe this one, 400. Nope. So we need to find the one about Budgie. Aha, 600, install Budgie. So budget desktop, let's get that one, and let's get uh, let, let's get started with budget. So basically, it's um, GNOME with a specific budget on it. Okay, so let's install this budget thing. Uh, Six hundred it was. Install budget. Uh, that's that's. Uh, quite fast this is normal um, because it's a package but this is also normal so I've decided to take a transparent GNOME system uh, this is transparent so it's now there's a clash going on between both of them the one that's not transparent and the one that is transparent so I don't care if there is a conflict I want to keep uh, the terminal that's transparent so that's okay for me and as you can see, we installed GNOME. So he says, I'm skipping everything because it's already in order, but we should check. So all these things are coming for with GNOME. Let's take a look at the script again, because there are lots of information there. 600, there is more to it than we think. So budget desktop, that's one thing. But then there, there's this package here, package GNOME, and that's what we're looking at, at this error there. Let's get rid of this. It's a leftover, for copy paste, the dangers of copy paste, budgie and GNOME are installed. 
I'm gonna get rid of the set min minus e because it's stopping because because of this error, which is not an error. We just want to keep the GNOME terminal, and let's run it again. And everything looks okay. GNOME has not been installed. That's okay. So the only thing, I guess, the only thing, that's the thing I'm thinking about now is, is he stopping midway, or is it okay to just go ahead now? Uh, so six hundred. It's ended with the X, so alphabetically, so I guess we are safe. <coughs> Here we see the X as well. The only one that's maybe an issue is the Yelp here. Vino. We don't see Vino as well. Well, if you do think it's an, uh, a problem, then you open it up again. And you tell him to this one, no confirm. You, well, you can do it like so. Huh? Control C, Control V, and this one was original. And now we're gonna confirm, like so. Save. That's GNOME. I say yes. And now you have this choice, and do you want to remove or keep it? Uh, I say no, I want to keep it. Unresolvable package conflicts detected, failed to prepare a transaction, the conflicting dependencies are in conflict. Strange. And when I say yes, he wants to install everything. All right, well, we'll have to install our GNOME transparent uh, theme again in order to have all the GNOME packages. As you can see, some of them had to be reinstalled, not reinstalled, but our new Empathy, Epiphany, XServer, XOviolent, GDM. Yeah, GDM is, of course, not really wanted, but it's there now. I even have sushi and wine. This is normal, quite normal, because he's going to check for a package, and the package is called GNOME. It doesn't exist as such, it's not installed as such. So, well, might be better, a good idea just to get rid of the code so nobody sees these lines. But, well, it's a script, so it's made for any and all packages. So this check here, just checking, is never gonna be, never gonna work. So I'm gonna toggle the comment off. Else fee, yeah, save. So now we're not going to see the errors again. So when we install it again, then you see proceed with installation, yes. There we go. It's going to reinstall. I did not expect it when he was going to do that. So no edits. What does not exist, that's the needed. That's an option that's not available, I guess. Control Alt T, man packer. Is there something like called needed? No edit, no confirm, no quick check. No, nope, does not exist. So we're stuck with this way of working. Yes, close it. Close this as well. 
So now everything is installed. Pudgy and Gnome are installed, it says now here. I have here not, it's not pretty here down there. So last time I'm gonna edit my code. Save. Let's go at last to Budgie. So that's done. Completely installed. Going to Budgie, L Eric, log out. Yes, please. And now, depending on what you're greeted with, you have to figure out how to get to the other uh, system. And in here, it's here. So Budgie Desktop is the one we need. We did install GDM, so maybe next time when we boot, we see something else. I don't know what I did, but it's, it's trying to start again with this calendar thing here. <laughs> nice movie. Alt T. Bye. Alt T. Bye. So, as you can see, the GNOME shortcuts that I put in are also working on Budgie. Alt T is just working. Great. And the zombie cheat sheet. Bye again. This is a nice one. High voltage, do not touch zombies. So this is Budgie. We installed the Conkey. So the Conkey is uh, booted, is started. It's in the startup. Start up is not here. Name startup. Then you take the tweak, tweak tool. You can use it as well. It is GNOME with a desktop. So you can start here with the Arc Dark Crimson, you can change all these things. And we're good to go to make an other tutorial to make it even nicer.